Hey, what's up guys? My name is Mr. L and welcome to the Monkey Doodle Show, where we teach you how to draw crazy, silly characters every week. If you're a kid and you like to draw, be sure to subscribe so you'll never miss a video. Also, look out for my friend Babby the Monkey, who's always causing trouble in the art studio. So watch until the end of the video to see what he's up to this time. You know, I was thinking, it's summer and it's hot out, so why not draw a silly ice cream cone character? Okay, get those markers and draw with me on Monkey Doodle. All right, guys, thanks for joining me on the Monkey Doodle Show. We're going to draw an ice cream cone dude. Okay, so I'm going to use a Sharpie. You guys can use whatever you like to draw with, okay? Start at the top of your paper or near the top. We're going to make kind of like a U-shape, all right? Like that. Or you could say, hey, it's like a horseshoe shape. And then at the bottom, we're going to do, come out a little bit higher than the end of this line. We're going to do a few, like, bumps. Watch. Bump, bump, smaller, and another one that goes around there. So you see how it's above that line a little bit on each side. Okay? And that gives it a little bit of a 3D feel of the ice cream kind of melting over the bottom of the cone. Cool. All right. So now we're going to draw the cone itself. And this we're going to go for a, you know, not the V-shaped cone, but more like the cup cone. So come down with a line and come down with a line on this side. And now come in a little bit, come in on this side with a line. We're going to go down with a longer line and over here too. And we're going to connect these two lines with sort of like a curve. Okay, so you can see there's our cup shape, ice cream on top. Awesome. So let's do the face of the cone guy now. Over here, we're going to do a C and a bigger C opposite backwards. All right, kind of like that. Two dark circles. And over here, maybe bigger. Leave a little white area inside. And as you can see, our friend, the ice cream dude, is looking up. Okay, maybe we'll add just a tiny bit of a line right there just to sharpen it up. Okay. And now we're going to give him a nice big smile. So start up here and go down. Cool. He's happy now. Put a little backwards smile at the top there. Actually, not a backwards smile, a regular smile, mini smile. And we're going to make believe he's hungry too. Watch, tongue sticking out. Long upside down U that connects to the mouth line. How silly is that? Over here on the ice cream cone wafer cup, we're going to make crosshatch lines. And they're, they're diagonal slanted lines. So watch, one, two, three, four. Okay, going that way. And then we'll crisscross. That's what crosshatch lines are. Go the opposite direction. Okay. And it gives it that texture of what you're used to on the ice cream cup uh, wafer cone, okay? Pretty cool. He's looking all right. Let's give this guy some feet over here. A loop, kind of like a bean shape, sort of, and this side too. So it connects to the bottom of the cone, to the bottom of the wafer cone. And let's see, let's give this guy a silly hat. What do you guys think? Yeah, I like that idea. So up top, Instead of a cherry, let's give this guy a hat. Upside down U shape. All right. And just about to the bottom, another longer U shape that hits the top. And that's kind of like a baseball cap. And then line down the middle, and side, and side. And how about a little circle on top? And two very tight oval sort of shapes that give it that little silly helicopter spinner shape thing on the top spinner object all right our ice cream dude is looking fun and silly so over here we're going to put a line that comes down another short line that comes down actually we can just kind of fill it in we don't have to there it's easier and we're going to make one loop two three and the thumb Okay, so he's got one arm down. Now this one, we're going to do an arm up, watch. And it starts on the top of the cone. Okay, a nice solid dark line. Actually, we're going to do, let's see, a spoon over here first. Well, let's do this. Let's do a, looks like 
a number nine, okay? Over here, we're going to do three bumps. One, two, three, and then close it like that, okay? And then we're going to come down and go back up with this long loop that hits it at the bottom, okay? And we're going to make believe the line passes behind the thumb, big loop, skinny, and back and hit the other part of the hand. So it looks like it's being grabbed now, that spoon, okay? And maybe we'll just put like a, a line over here on the inside. And that makes it look a little bit more like, you know, the inside of a spoon, sort of. All right. That's pretty much it for our ice cream dude. After this, get ready to hyperspeed with me, guys, so that we can color this. And you can color it any way you want. I'm just going to do it my way and give you some ideas, okay? All right, get ready for hyperspeed. Babby. How you doing? All right, listen, Babby, I have to go somewhere for a minute. Don't touch my ice cream, okay? All right, I'll be right back. Thanks, Babby. Babby, where, where's my strawberry, Babby? Come on. Hey, Bobby, where are you going with that ice cream? Mm -hmm. All right, Bobby. How about we just share, okay? That would be a good idea, no? Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Also, be sure to check out last week's video, which is linked in the description below. All right, guys, it's time for this week's shout outs. Thanks to everyone who sent in their art. If you want your art to be featured in next week's episode of Monkey Doodle, just send your art to monkeydoodleart at gmail.com. And if you want to check out my art, you can follow me on Instagram at Art Duke of Liberty. See you next time on Monkey Doodle.